This is Jeff Bedrick from the Stanford Creative Ignition Lab here to share this introduction to Autodesk's Memento software. Memento is an end-to-end -end solution for converting photos or scans into high-definition 3D meshes that can be cleaned up, fixed, and optimized for the web, mobile, or 3D printing. For now, we will be focusing on simple photographic input called photogrammetry. Here's my colleague Grant from the Stanford Lab taking some photos of this colorful croquet equipment that we found in the lounge here at Autodesk. Now you might notice that we set up some pretty bright studio lights uh, just to help uh, get uh, the best photos that we can, but normally any good well-lit conditions should be sufficient. Also notice that we set up this nice small round table in a fairly large open space with plenty of room to walk around. This is really important to get the uh, maximum coverage of your subject. And watch as Grant is just taking multiple shots from every angle. Now here, see he's shooting from a little bit of a lower angle and just taking as many photos as it needs from all the way around to get complete coverage. Now, it's not absolutely critical that the photographs all be shot from particular angles as long as there are sufficient quantity and quality of photos taken from enough different angles with coverage all the way around. When the photographs are analyzed by Memento, they are stitched together to create a continuous image and a, um, a continuous model. Now, I think in the end, we ended up here with about 70 or 80 photographs, and uh, we'll see how this model turns out. It's also extremely important that all the photographs be well-focused and well-exposed. Also very important that nothing moves. Otherwise, if any of those things are not done properly, then Memento will really have trouble recognizing the photographs and the model may not turn out as expected. Memento is designed for novice users to jump in and start creating high-quality 3D models. However, the success of the model depends on the quality of the photographic input. This does take a little practice, but anyone can learn it. Briefly, the subject must be well lit, in focus, and visible from all angles. Memento compares foreground and background portions of the image to triangulate 3D geometry of the object. Therefore, a background with some visible texture, such as wood, or in this case, the newspaper, is actually better than a very plain background. The main subject should ideally be as large as possible within the frame of the photo while remaining in focus. The trickiest part might be taking a sufficient number of usable photos from many different angles with plenty of overlap between all of the photos. A digital camera or smartphone with thumbnails is very helpful to review the photos taken and to determine if there are any angles of the object that need more coverage. It might help to think of the object as being surrounded by a large sphere dotted with points all over its surface. These points are the potential camera angles. Luckily, there's flexibility and there's no need for the angles to be precise as long as there's sufficient coverage. In the next section, we will look at how the photos turned out and upload them into Memento.